it originally started as a solo project Matilda is actually my middle name and the first proper song that I wrote was called Dear Kind One I wanted a project name that didn't directly have just my name or full name and I put the two together as Dear Matilda kind of really liked it and it's stuck around ever since <laughs> Jimmy actually came up on I think a Facebook post when I was looking for band members for a different project played lead guitar amazingly well and I was like I've got to get him Jimmy and I played as a duo for many years I was playing a show solo actually one of the bands that was also playing was Josh Lopez was drumming for he was like oh are you interested in starting a band at some point I'm looking for a drummer oddly enough and he was like I'll do it which is kind of crazy because he was having rehearsals for this band at the share house I was living at it for some reason didn't click with me that he would be the perfect fit but I'm so glad that that did work out with Damon too our bass player he was living with me in that same share house I was like to Damon would you be interested in properly joining the band and he was down for that which was awesome that's kind of how we all came together I find it changes throughout life different music you discover definitely Paramore since day one especially in particular the brand new eyes album that was definitely been my favorite Paramore album of all time. A big one lately has been Teen Jesus and the Gene Teasers and Teenage Jones. I love their kind of Australian indie pop punk. Avril Lavigne, big influence of mine growing up. I remember about 10 years old I had blonde hair and I managed to convince my mum to let me put like a pink streak in it. Alanis Morissette, the rawness of her lyrics and the energy that she brings in her music is really, really cool. Tired Lion, Cam Cope, both musically, lyrically, in terms of message and ethics as well. Sticking up for what I believe in, trying to be a voice on issues that not only like affect me and my experiences, but affect the broader community. Mainly having fun, not taking yourself too seriously, which is such a scary thing to do. When I started posting to TikTok, I set myself a challenge to post something every day for 30 days. And then I kept that going for about 90 to 100 days because I was just having fun with it. And see how you can make it a part of your craft. It doesn't have to be showing off or being fancy. It's could just be being real talking about your music just having different ways to create like I really do like video editing kind of another creative outlet for me and I kind of see it as going hand in hand with music thank you I'm so glad you're loving the songs most of the releases under Dear Matilda have been solo produced by me or produced by Jimmy. Drive Me Crazy was actually produced by Jimmy. Anymore has been the first proper studio recording that we've put out and the first song we've done as a band. To have kind of that debut go really well. We've had such positive feedback from people about it. That's been awesome. Even people we don't know telling us how much they've really loved anymore. Next up we've actually got a single coming out March 1st called Today Ain't the Worst and this song was recorded at the same studio as Anymore, The Loud Noise Estate. It's about a friendship breakup which is a pretty scary topic for me to talk about and a bit of a vulnerable one of something that's really affected me in my life. In terms of the Dear Matilda philosophy, I would say mental health is probably one of the biggest things that I talk about in music. My mental health has affected me a lot over the years. In talking about mental health, I've spoken about some very serious topics within that. I think the biggest takeaway that I want 
to give through talking about all of these different aspects is that things get better and we can all work through things. I think one of the biggest things that gets us through hard times is music and community. For me, without either of those things, my mental health would be a lot worse and I wouldn't be where I am today. It's so important for people to know that they're not alone and what they go through is real. One of the biggest reasons that I got into music was not only that I love music and how much it's helped me as therapy, but how much music brings people together. There's no words for that.